In many cases, suggestibility is an issue. Did you know that false memories can be created in children? Do you know how repeated questioning can create false memories? Do you know how leading questioning can create false memories? How confirmatory bias or the cooperative conversationalist effect can create false memories in children? Everyone thinks they know about suggestibility, but in fact, it is a very complex field. We keep a scientific research bank on all of the sub-issues concerning suggestibility. Our experts are required to have at least three scientific sources for each assertion that they make to a jury. In one case, we had a stack of research that was this thick just to make three important points. Of course, you can't read that much material to a jury. It would take too long, and it would be too boring for the average juror. It is done through the blend of technology and video. Science and the presentation skills of the attorney working with the expert. That's how we blend scientific research and trial preparation. Here is a short example of how we teach jurors in the field of suggestibility. In the excerpts from an actual trial where our litigation team leader, Mr. Clancy, was the attorney and I was the expert in this particular trial. How do we get this, how do we get this film footage? Well, NBC was there and it filmed the entire trial. 